Good morning Instagram and YouTube. Today we're going to showcase, Michelle and I are going to showcase Tim's apron from Arizona. I think Scully's going to help too. Hey Scully, <laughs> you know what they say, Scully says it best, our aprons will outlast you. Alright, here we go. Uh, this is a unique one. So Arizona, Tim said he didn't want it to be too hot, so what he did was he cut off about five inches off the bottom, so it's about mid-thigh. That's a very common feature in warmer states. It's yes. a way to control not trapping the heat behind your apron, and it seems to be working out. Absolutely. Um, also, mm -hmm. something that's kind of unique about Tim's is he does a little bit of metal work and a little bit of woodworking. So we're going to talk about these upper pockets. First and foremost, he added for an additional ring for his safety glasses. He has some thick, fat, sharpie markers, uh, carpenter pencils, and a scratch pad for taking notes and things like that around the shop. Uh, right here is the interesting part I wanted to mention. He has our famous magnet. And what's interesting about it is if you notice really quick, it flips up so he can pull the magnet out while he's doing metal work and then put the magnet back in and to stow his bits and Torx bits. So he's not collecting metal shavings while he's doing metal work. Correct. Um, on Tim's right side, right here, he has a tape measure clip, of course, and a hammer loop for doing finish work or carcass work, a little bit of assembly. Um, he'll probably not wear it all the time, just when he's doing that, that work at the end. On Tim's left side, all right, right here in the front, actually, let's start here. He's got our famous round bottom pocket. So in case any debris or dust gets in there, you can easily just swipe it out. It's not pointed on the bottom, so the dust collects. It's easy to scoop it out. And what I like to do is I'll put my air hose, air gun in here and block it off, pull the trigger, and it shoots the dust out. Yeah, that didn't happen by accident. No, this was all, market. this was Michelle's design, and it works beautifully. On his left side, double stack pockets. One of the things that we're famous for are stacking pockets to getting your tool set on your apron because no one knows your workflow better than you. So on this outer pocket, he has a little brass uh, caliper. Caliper, thank you, Michelle. <laughs> um, so he has a little brass caliper, and then on the inner pocket, Again, being metal work, he has a set of pliers or a box cutter right here, utility knife. So it's anything that he needs for his metal work and he wanted on his left side. Yeah, Tim really did a lot of thinking in the designing of making his pockets multi-purpose. That way it can uh, span between the metal working and the woodworking and serve him in both of those medias. Absolutely. So real quick, I want to show you the back straps and how we have our cross back. And you can see that it's distributing the weight. Um, leather could be a little bit heavy, but it's a crossbody system, so it distributes the weight. There's extra length in all the belts so that it's adjustable for what you're wearing. And the back strap there is so if you're leaning forward, working on power tools or lifting your new project, that you're not dinging up your tools, you're not dropping tools, you're not getting stuck in a machine. One of the safety features that we've kind of built right into the apron. And we're going to take special measurements to get that in the right place and the right length. Yep. So, we hope you enjoyed this video. Wait, wait, I want to show some of this beautiful oh. leather. And it's got some gorgeous markings right on the front pockets right there. Beautiful. We'll take some still shots. We'll drop those into the YouTube video. Even the um, removable magnets got some gorgeous leather. We got barbed wire scratches. Rotate to the side here. There's even a, a good, I think it's the remnant of a brand over here. It's very pretty. So, lots of depth and detail in this brown apron. Um, from a distance, it might look a little boring, but once you're up close to it, it is beautiful. All right, so we hope you like, comment, and subscribe. If you need to get a hold of us, please look in the description where I have our website link. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. <laughs>